Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan once again in this very very exciting video of algebraic expressions where we are going to simplify one expression x plus square root 28 over x minus square root 28 plus x plus square root 12 over x minus square root 12. Given x value is 4 root 21 over root 7 plus root 3. So I will begin this video by writing two properties of radical which are very very useful. First one is square root a times square root b can be written as square root a b. And second property which I will use that is a times square root b we can write square root of a square b. Most important properties which we will use here. Now x. x I can write 4 as 2 times 2 square root 21 as square root 3 times square root 7. Factorize simply root 7 plus root 3 unchanged. Now I am going to divide this equation by 2 root 7. Let me divide x divided by 2 root 7 equal to right hand side would be this 2 root 7 will be over so 2 root 3 over root 7 plus root 3 done now one important rule of componendo dividendo is about to come what is that rule let me write componendo and dividendo Okay, what is that rule exactly? A over B that is equal to A plus B over A minus B. Any time for given ratio A over B, we can write in this form A plus B over A minus B. Okay, now let's apply to our equation. LHS will become, see I am going to consider this is my A, this is my B. So I will write a plus b in the numerator. So a, a is x plus b to root 7 over x minus 2 root 7. a plus b over a minus b is done. Now come to RHS. Now consider this is our a and this is our b. So I will add both. So let me add in the numerator first 2 root 3 plus root 7 plus root 3 divided by 2 root 3 minus root 7 minus root 3. Now simplify this one. 2 root 3 plus 1 root 3. These two terms we can add. So it will become 3 root 3 plus root 7. Simple. Divided by 2 root 3 minus root 3. So I will get root 3 only. Minus root 7 only. Okay. Now I am going to use property number 2. We have used property number 1 here to split this square root 21 in two product forms. And property number 2 I am going to use now. How? I will use 2 root 7. See I will show you. 2 root 7. This I will write square root 2 square times 7. 2 square is 4 times 7 so square root of 28 now you can see your this term is about to come so i will write x plus 28 square root divided by x minus square root 28 equal to which we already calculated that is 3 root 3 plus root 7 over root 3 minus root 7. How easily we can find out using componendo dividendo rule or method or property. Let me call this is my equation number 1. Now I will divide both sides by 2 root 3. We have divided by 2 root 7. Now second case I will divide by 2 root 3. Let's divide. 
So let me write that x value first. It was 4 root 21 over root 7 plus root 3. Now let's divide by 2 root 3. So first I will write 2 into 2 into root 3 into root 7 divided by square root 7 plus square root 3. Divide both sides by 2 root 3. So x over 2 root 3 equal to now it will be left 2 root 7 only. 2 root 3 will be cancelled out. Denominator is root 7 plus root 3. Done. Now I will again apply componendo dividendo which states that we have to both means we have to add both numerator denominator in the numerator and we have to take the difference in the denominator. So LHS is x plus 2 root 3 over x minus 2 root 3. As you can think about this is my a, this is my b. Now a plus b over a minus b. Same task we will apply here also. a is 2 root 7. So I will add in the numerator and I will subtract in the denominator. So I will write minus root 7 minus root 3. Simplify this one. 2 root 7 plus root 7, 3 root 7 plus root 3 divided by 2 root 7 minus root 7. So only root 7 will be left minus root 3. Now you can check. Again I will use the same property that is 2 root 3. Let me write here. Let me write here. 2 root 3 we can write a square root of 2 square inside the square root into 3. This will give us 4 into 3 which is equal to square root 12. So this term we are going to write square root 12 and which is matching with your expression LHS one term. So let me write it is x plus square root 12 x minus square root 12 equal to 3 root 7 plus root 3 divided by root 7 minus root 3. I will call this is my equation number 2. Let me put in the box because task is almost done. Now I will add both the equation to find out our result. So let me add equation number 1 and equation number 2. So let's add 1 and 2. Let me write first LHS x plus square root 28 over x minus square root 28 plus x plus square root 12 over x minus square root 12. Right hand side I will write 3 root 3 first equation first. 3 root 3 plus root 7 over root 3 minus root 7. And second equation right hand side is 3 root 7 plus square root 3 divided by root 7 minus root 3. Now what I am going to do I will take minus common out from the first term denominator means I am I am going to take minus from here. So I can write minus 3 root 3 minus root 7 over root 7 minus root 3 okay plus 3 root 7 plus square root 3 over root 7 minus root 3. Now you can see the denominators are same. So common denominator I will write root 7 minus root 3 in denominator it would be minus 3 root 3 minus root 7 plus 3 root 7 plus root 3. Now I will simplify a bit and I will collect my answer. How? Minus 3 root 3 plus root 3. So minus 2 root 3 and 3 root 7 minus root 7. So I will write first I will write 2 root 7 then I will write minus 2 root 3. In the numerator it would be left. Denominator root 7 minus root 3. I will take 2 common from the numerator. So it will become minus root 3 
over root 7 minus root 3. Now I can cancel root 7 minus root 3 from the numerator denominator to collect our result 2. So our answer becomes 2. I hope you understood the value of componendo dividendo while solving radical problems such like that. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Take care.